Welcome to video 60 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the item name script. Okay, so the item name script is going to be responsible for giving the item in a name when the game starts. Well, rather when the item is enabled. So item name and it's important for any objects that are especially outside of the player's current inventory. So then the name will be right. You'll see the correct name appear when your, you know, the player detect script is working and you see the bit of text appear. You'll know then what you're trying to pick up. Anyway, let's, uh, let's write that. And it's really, really simple. So I'll just get rid of everything. It's, uh, it's, it's like the, uh, item tag script. And I'll just put here void set, uh, name. I'll just call it set item name to be clear. And okay. I just need a variable, so public string item name. On enable, I'm gonna set the item name. Okay. And here I'm just gonna say transform.name is equal to item name. So if the player doesn't write anything, it'll just be a blank name. And I've actually had a better idea. I might actually put this in start and then go ahead and try it out. Okay, so I'll take that, drop it in here, item name, and what should the item name be? Throwing block, for example. Okay, now there's a fair chance that one of them will not get that name when the game starts, but uh, this is what I'd like to see, actually. Let me just hit play. Okay, so none of them have been renamed. So the game objects are deactivated. Uh, so nothing, these scripts are not going to operate. So once I get rid of the menu scene, item two will change the throwing block because it will be activated and placed in the player's hands. There we go. Uh, now the inventory will show the wrong names. Until we pick up the items, the inventory is not going to update or rather, how about I throw the item so if I select item one, okay, and throw it, so you can see the name has changed in the hierarchy, throw it. Okay, good, the inventory is updated now, and the correct name is there. So something to just note is that for items that start out underneath the player's first person character, give them the correct name. So that way the inventory will show the correct a name for the item to begin with, but any objects that are in the world itself so long as you set the name here it's going to be just fine you don't have to worry about that you'll see the correct name on them and you'll pick them up as they are like that okay so anyway uh, that's it so the item name script is working and it actually in this case doesn't matter whether i use the start method or whether i use on enable it truly makes no difference all right thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video